This is Marcy Miller, and this is my digital presentation for Communications 170. This is a presentation on information on should you have an MRI or a CT scan for your injury. Up until the 1970s, the method for detecting injuries such as ligament damage, brain and spinal injuries, cancer lesions, or even broken bones was extremely subpar. A major breakthrough came when Godfrey Hounsfield combined the x-ray with a computer and came up with cross-sectional imaging of images provided called a CT or computerized tomography or a CAT scan, a computerized axial tomography. In the 1980s, there was more advancements with nuclear medicine, which then led to magnetic resonance imaging or MRI. For situations, MRI is a preferred diagnostic tool especially for ligaments and um, tendons because their fibers are a lot more defined. Sometimes they use it for brains, all brain scanning, although the CT scan is still the choice for strokes because it's better at detecting hemorrhaging. When you go to the doctor, for example, you go skiing and you crash, you'll go to the ER, most likely, with severe knee or joint pain, and you will get an MRI. Because again, the MRI is the preferred by doctors to look at ligaments and tendons and in the spinal region because the tissues in these areas are more defined. An MRI does also does not use radiation like a CT scan would, because you don't need that to see the tendons, or excuse me, the tissues in your body. The machines, however, are more confining and very loud, and take the process for an MRI takes quite a bit longer than for a CT scan. So if you're claustrophobic, there are machines that you can use called an open magna MRI. I'm gonna show you a picture of a regular closed MRI. And as you can see, you'll lay on the lay on the, uh, the bed and your body will be moved into this big orbit and then it will scan it takes a long time and you are in this little hole <laughs> so it's very confining and sometimes really hard if you're claustrophobic and also very loud they'll usually give you headphones and let you listen to music um, on the other hand, let's say you go to the doctor with severe headache or stomach pain, he'll most likely send you for a CT scan because it's the preferred modality for um, de detecting cancer, pneumonia, if you have an abnormal chest x-ray, or you've been in an accident and they suspect you have bleeding on the brain. Um, the CT scan is better than an MRI in detecting damp, um, bleeding or um, lesions such as that. CT scans have improved the speed and imaging quality, though they still do use radiation do dosage, albeit less than a re regular x-ray. The machine used is restrictive, but not as claustrophobic as an MRI machine, and it doesn't take as long to get your imaging completed. In conclusion, if you're wondering which test you should have, always trust your doctor and ask questions if it makes you more comfortable, but knowing now if you have a ligament tear or tendon or spinal issues, be prepared for an MRI. And if there's question of organ damage, pneumonia, cancer, CT scan is most likely the test that will be used. Also, I have a picture of a CT scanner. You can see it's a lot smaller than the MRI. Again, you would lay on the bed you'd actually go through the little donut hole is what they call it and you would stop wherever they want to image say they want to image your brain you would stop there with your head in there and they would take the picture it's, say they wanted to look at your abdomen you'd go probably halfway in and it would scan your abdominal cavity and so if you have any 